What's up guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day right now. Today, I want to talk to you about how great it is to drink a whole lot of coffee. Honestly, this stuff is fantastic. Like, I drink coffee every single day and I want to give you three reasons why it's a great idea to drink a whole bunch of coffee. Firstly, it's excellent for your health, right? Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It is absolutely jam-packed full of antioxidants. And these things especially are going to be really good to help prevent aging. It's going to be help prevent oxidative stress on the body. So it's going to help prevent full body diseases. And especially it's going to be really good for protecting the liver. Now I heard a study done with Italians. And Italians, if you know anything about Italians, they love to drink wine and they love to drink coffee. In fact, they are some of the biggest drinkers in all of Europe, but they have some of the lowest incidences of liver disease. Now, can you think why that might be? be? It's actually been proven that the antioxidants in coffee help prevent the liver from damage. So if you drink, you especially need to drink at least, I think it was six cups of coffee. So six cups of coffee a day is gonna help prevent your, prevent your liver getting any kind of damage. Second of all, it's going to help promote a whole lot of mental clarity and good mood, which is excellent for socializing. You know, for instance, if you're out and you're meeting somebody for the first time, one of the most important things is one that you feel happy and relaxed because that person's going to feel at ease around you. But number two, that you're going to be able to remember things about that person. So when you first talk to that person, you're going to say, oh, all right, what's your name? That's a big one for people. Forget people's names. Uh, you know, you gotta remember what they're interested in. What you know, what's up with them? What's going on in their life? And then second time you meet them, right? It can be hard. It can be one of those things that causes anxiety. I'm sure a lot of people experience it. Now, don't worry about it, right? Okay, coffee can help these things. But my advice in that situation, in a social situation, if you meet someone for like a second or a third time and you still don't know their name, the trick is strike while the iron is hot. Just get straight in there. for like. Oh, hey, nice to see you again. What was your name again? Just smile, be relaxed. And I'm sure a lot of the time they're feeling exactly the same way that you're feeling. So don't worry about it. Um, so it's also good for the, you guys who are studying. It's going to actually, it's been proven scientifically to in, improve your memory. So if you're studying, you're in class, you're learning something new, you're, you're experiencing new things, coffee will help your memory absorb that stuff in the future so go out guys keep drinking your coffee before class before you date take your friend to the coffee shop when you're gonna go meet them and you're gonna have a good time now third of all it's gonna help you get a fantastic workout now trust me guys I love working out and so many times I've noticed that if I've got a good amount of coffee in me before the workout I'm gonna be pumped focused energized um, for instance, I mean, like, it's actually banned by the Olympic Commission. You can't have over a certain amount of caffeine in your blood on the day of performing. Otherwise, this class is cheating because it's going to give you such good results. So when you're out there going to the gym, you want to get a damn good workout, make good use of your time. Get, you know, two, three, maybe even four cups of coffee in you. Have an espresso or two right before you go in and you're going to have a great workout. All right, so if I haven't inspired you guys to go out and enjoy some good coffee, well, I don't know what else will. Don't listen to all the naysayers. Get out there. Have a fantastic time. Peace.